Happy New Year guys. It's uh, 2019 and I actually was going through my garage and I was actually I found one of my old SSD drives. So this was the first SSD drive ever, I've ever bought and uh, it's probably like six years old now. It's 3.5 form factor and uh, this thing will it, it's no longer detected in the BIOS, the computer BIOS. This happened a couple of like probably three or four years ago so um, I actually do uh, I mean my primary business is like fixing servers and you know, I make a lot of videos, you know, automotive videos and random videos, but I uh, I do troubleshoot servers, that's what I do for a living, I'm an IT guy. So, um, and one of the jobs I have to do is to recover data on failed hard drives and failed SSD drives, so let me show you a, a, a trick or method I've uh, used before in the past to get data off there. So let me first show you actually uh, in the BIOS, I'm going to take this, uh, I have a computer right here, an old Dell computer. So I'm just going to do this to show you that this thing is no longer detected in the BIOS. Alright. Fire this up. And I'll go into the BIOS. Oh, oh I guess. Sorry. I got my glasses. Uh, here we go. So, fire this computer up and I'll be back. Alright guys, take a look. So, serial AT0, not detected. Yep, so I've tried done this on multiple computers and uh, obviously I've tried different cables, so. Um, Alright, so that's, just wanted to show you that the hard drive is not detected. Is, if you're not detected in the BIOS, sometimes the hard drive can be recovered via, um, the point of that was just to show you that, like yesterday this thing wasn't even, wasn't even detected in the BIOS. But, what I've done for servers, I mean I don't really work on personal workstations, so. But for servers, I, I'm always troubleshooting servers. Uh, get this off here. Sometimes, like this thing, it, it boots faster than this drive can actually communicate with. So what I have is like an external USB enclosure. And I do have a couple other kinds of uh, things that I can adapt into it. Like this little thing. I'll put some links where you can get this stuff, but... It's like a, little, a serial ATA converter to USB. But this one's easier to deal with. If I mean, if I have a 3.45 inch drive, then I just use this the converter thing here. But sometimes you can actually connect your SSD drive to an external enclosure, and sometimes it can actually be it'll recognize in Windows, and you can actually get your data off there. But sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's fast. Um, but this is really just it's not 100%. So, all right, guys, let me show you real quick. All right, so that's the USB converter. I'm gonna plug it in. You should hear the USB go. Hopefully, you heard that. Okay, so that other. Okay, what's funny is this thing's so intermittent. I have to, op I have to put the drive in a couple times. So, see that K drive? Check us out. Look how slow this thing is to respond. Yeah, if you're patient, look at this. It'll it will kind of get in there. So. If your SSD drive you think it's completely failed and you can't see it in the BIOS on a longer boot, try one of these and you might be able to get your data out there if it's super critical. So I always back up my data on my servers. So, but yeah, you know, if you don't, you can still maybe get back to your files. I'll come back when this thing fully gets in there. So, all right. So that is, it took a couple minutes to fully load here, and it's the same thing. It's super super slow, but sometimes it crashes. Sometimes you have to reset it. But, I mean, the data is there, and, all right, we'll see. So, yeah, hopefully this helps somebody. I mean, so you can see it kind of going. It's just super slow. But, like I said, if this thing was connected to the actual, the serial e uh connector on the motherboard, this thing wouldn't even be seen in the BIOS, and you couldn't even get to it. So, for some reason, the USB converter sometimes can uh, allow it to communicate. So, if you're having issues, uh, try that and see if that works. Cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. Happy New Year.